Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. July 31st, John Knox. John Knox was a Scottish minister, theologian, and writer who was a leader of the country's Reformation. In fact, he was the founder of the Presbyterian Church of Scotland. But this is a different story. On this date, in 1547, Knox was captured by the French Navy. Speaking up against evil requires an ordinary man who trusts God. The trouble started when Cardinal Beaton, a high-ranking Catholic Church official, put out a hit on reformer John Knox. The man would not stop speaking out against the Catholic Church, who now owned 50% of Scotland's real estate and collected 18 times as much as the crown. Knox's mentor got arrested and insisted Knox take refuge in a nearby castle. Disguising themselves as masons, some other reformers had already gotten into St. Andrew's Castle, which had its own soldiers. Knox joined them. The gathered reformers plotted against Cardinal Beaton. A battle ensued, and the reformers defeated Beaton and formed their first Protestant congregation in Scotland. The authorities decided that the reformers had murdered Beaton. So three months later, Scotland's French allies attacked the reformers. Knox could have fled the castle before the bloody battle began, but he refused to abandon his duty as minister. He committed to himself to share in whatever fate lay ahead. Knox firmly believed, if the Lord will, we shall live. The weary reformers bravely fought against the French naval ground troops for more than a month, but the French surrounded the castle with French soldiers from 20 galley ships. Guns were then mounted on a nearby college roof. England failed to send help, and the French forces relentlessly bombarded the castle. To save their lives, the reformers agreed to a conditional surrender, which that all 120 people in the castle would be spared. They could join the French army or they would be allowed to relocate to any country except Scotland. But when the reformers arrived in France, the French went back on their word, and the reformers were branded as heretics. They became prisoners of war and were forced onto the galley ship to labor as galley slaves. In groups of six, they were chained to benches and worked 45-foot-long oars. If they slowed down, slave drivers lashed them with whips. During the winter months, the reformers were exposed to extreme cold, and in the summer months, unbearable heat. At night, they had to sleep crammed shoulder to shoulder on the bench or beneath the feet of other slaves. But Knox regarded his anguish of mind and intense physical affliction as a trial sent from God intended to build his faith. Every effort was made to convert the reformers to the Catholic Church, Mass was offered daily, and the reformers covered their heads and refused to listen. In Proverbs 29, 25, it states, The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Knox's unflinching faith was contagious. His fellow captives, once drowning in despair, asked Knox if he thought an escape was lawful and likely. Knox told them it was both lawful and likely for them to leave that galley ship, but he said he had no doubt he would not die until he had preached and glorified the name of God again in the place he had preached his first sermon. After 19 months of degrading captivity, the reformers were freed and he went on to preach the gospel. Are you clear about what you believe in? Clear enough to know when it's important to speak up? Speaking up against evil requires an ordinary man who trusts God. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real-life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. For today's story, we have a free one-page group discussion sheet available on our website. 
please join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.